Hi guys, it's Matthias, and in today's video I'm going to share with you my thoughts and my reactions to the latest Battlefield 2042 trailer. It's called Dark Creations, I think. It's, uh, yes, uh, Dark Creations, it's season 6. And as you may or may not know, I'm planning on playing, streaming, and making a few videos of Battlefield 2042 when this, uh, when this, yeah, when this update is out. Now, normally when I make these uh, reactions videos, I give you my initial thoughts right then and there. But in this case, I've actually watched the trailer once or twice before. And uh, there was a couple of things that uh, caught my attention and I'm going to share it with you here. I hope the volume is at the right level. I'll take my, my chances here and we'll play this in 4K. So, no pets. An unknown enemy forces breach the Boreas facility. Get ready to hold your nerve. You're I going assume in you've blind. watched this video and maybe I'll talk over some of this anyway. So, here's the thing, right? Weapons free. Let's go. Battlefield always looks great. The trailer no. looks amazing. It has no question. And, uh, and we wouldn't out. expect anything else. I mean, this is this is just standard. It always looks amazing. Enemy incoming. The, there's a couple of things that I reacted on. When I first saw these yellow eyes, I mean, we saw it there just briefly. We're gonna see it more. I was thinking it's some Star Wars theme or something. And uh, then I quickly uh, changed focus to the infrared or uh, night vision scopes. That was very controversial way back in Battlefield 3. <laughs> and there we have it. Yeah, I'll have to pause here. So, when I first noticed this, I think this was the scene where I first noticed it, I was thinking, okay, so uh, we're going back to uh, some Star Wars theme or whatever, because, you know, it was DICE and EA that made uh, Battlefront, right? So, I, that, that was just my thought. And then, later on in the video, I guess we have the explanation. But, uh, because, yeah, I think this has nothing to do with Star Wars whatsoever. It's just like yellow eyes and, uh, yeah, whatever. So, um, yeah, uh, promoting some uh, microtransactions for making some money, a lot of uh, a lot of futuristic technology or maybe modern technology. I'm not keeping up on that, uh, to be honest. But um, as I'm sure you know, we are in Halloween or Halloween season, and uh, I guess that's where this update, the season six, is inspired from. Again, this brings me back to Star Wars again. This is like some primitive Earth-like version of when Anakin Skywalker is doing his races. Then we see this jet. We all kind of expect what's going to happen. I would have... Well, I'm, I'm happy to see that they didn't do the whole uh, quad bike with a C4 or a C5 attached to it. That That, that is such a cliche now. We, we, we just... Or at least I can't... I, I don't want to see it anymore. We all know about putting a putting explosive on a on a um, on a quad bike and uh, jumping off of a cliff and blowing up a helicopter or a jet. It's it, it, it is cool. It is cool, but we don't need more of it. Blowing up a jet with a grenade, I guess it's just yeah, it's just it's, it's, it's just battlefield, right? It's just battlefield. It. Anyway, I guess. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. People love their skins and their loot boxes. Um, maybe I'll get into that once in my life as well. People always ask about it in Battlefield 1, but this, I guess this explains it. And, uh, I was talking over it here. So, I'm assuming we're in for a zombie team, a uh, zombie theme. Sorry for <laughs> my pronunciation. I assume we're in for a zombie theme. And, um... Yeah, zombies, huh? That was a thing way back in... Yeah, when was that? 2014? 15? Something like that. I remember uh, I played H1Z1 from from the get-go. A lot of people associate H1Z1 only with the Battle Royale, but it actually started as a zombie survival game. The um, Battle Royale was just an add-on that... Uh, um, 
yeah, gained popularity partly because, <laughs> you know, bugs in a game affect you a lot more in a zombie survival game than a battle royale. Battle royale just seems to be the easiest game mode to make, and yet there are quite few, um, there's quite limited few uh, titles that actually succeed with battle royale for whatever strange reason. But, uh, yeah, I guess we're in for a zombie team, a zombie theme. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm instantly thinking Darth Vader here. Where is he? Did I miss it? It's such a brief moment. This gives me the, the Darth Vader or Darth something vibes. Or, or, I don't know. There, there are so many f characters in the, in the Star Wars theme. And yeah, again... Um, dice used to be associated with that, but, uh, anyway, I really can't make up my mind about this. Um, there are a lot of people that are, at least in my community, that are against the whole futuristic aspect of shooters. If that's something you're against, if that's something you don't like, then I'm pretty sure you're gonna be disappointed. Me? I try to stay optimistic because I just like to be optimistic and I'm gonna give this game a shot I'm gonna give it a couple of streams at least I know at least one of the people that I play with on regular basis is very hyped on Battlefield 2042 and uh, well if you don't know it I'm gonna leave it for you to guess maybe put it in the comment section and uh, I will see you guys in the next live stream I hope thank you for watching